It's an amazing story here. The Israel Defense Force is saying they have rescued a hostage from a Hamas terror tunnel in Gaza. Take a live look here now. It's this man, this 52-year-old man, found in a tunnel by a top Israeli military unit. An IDF spokesman says the mission was, quote, brave and complex, and the troops found the hostage due to precise intelligence. The IDF going on to say this, the man rescued is in stable medical condition at a hospital facility at this time. And check this out. This is the rescued hostage landing at a hospital in Israel within just the last hour. Just phenomenal news. Amir Fakhravar is the Senate chairman of the National Iranian Congress. That is the opposition group to the Iranian regime. We want to be clear about that. And Fred Flights is a former CIA analyst. Gentlemen, good morning. Morning. Fred, the IDF issuing more evacuation orders. Is there an end in sight to the fighting or at least a hostage ceasefire deal necessary? Regrettably, I don't think there's an end to the fight. I think these reports from the Biden administration are that they're near a ceasefire deal to free the hostages. I don't think any of this is true because Hamas has not been at the negotiating table. But this is a great day. And it just shows, you know, Israel has a disadvantage concerning Hamas because it values human life. It values its people. It's an honorable disadvantage. And Israel fights as hard as it can to protect its people, to rescue its hostages. We don't know how many are alive, but I'm so happy that this man was rescued. Yeah, amen to that. It, it truly is an unbelievable story, Amir, when you think about this. there's You don't know much about the hostages, at least at this point. You know that there's a little more than 100 that we know in captivity. Um, and, and, and it's been bleak in, in terms of being optimistic, at least from family members, from friends, from loved ones that have spoken out that haven't seen their loved ones in, in so long. Are they alive? What is their health condition? This man, and we're learning more, we're attempting to, working to learn more about this. How did he escape? What what does he know? What were the conditions like? Um, obviously, we'll watch his recovery and being reunited with his family. And then hopefully, Amir, we'll hear more about this. Your thoughts when you heard about a hostage found alive in one of the tunnels being able to escape from the terror organization. Um, um, thank you, Sean. And uh, as, as Fred said, it's uh, it's not any type of negotiation. The, the only way you can free the hostages is to go there and make them free. And the uh, IDF is doing a great job. Benjamin Netanyahu is doing a great job. But the the problem is, let's go to the point that um, um, in 2015, when Obama-Biden administration, they gave $150 billion to Iranian regime, the state sponsor of terrorism. And then what happened then? Iran, the Islamic regime of Iran used that money to um, just feed as much as possible petrodollars to Hamas, to Hezbollah, to um, Islamic Jihad, and to all terrorist groups to harm Israel and poke United States. And then during the Biden-Harris administration, three years ago, exactly three years ago, when they handed the Bagram um, army base in Afghanistan to uh, Taliban, with $80 billion military equipment. You know, it, these are all wrong. And uh, Kamala Harris was the last person in the room who was the decision maker with the Biden. And, you know, when you are um, helping terrorists like Islamic regime of Iran, like Taliban, then, yes, all these problems is coming up. President Trump is the solution. He knew how to cut the lifeline of Mullah for go for the oil sanctions, and he should come back, and then Israel and United States should go and destroy all the military facilities of Iran inside the country to make sure the problem would be fixed. Fred, in the north, after a weekend of Israel and Hezbollah trading rocket fire, the Pentagon says Israel still faces the threat of attack by Iran and its proxies. The Wall Street Journal saying all eyes fixed on Iran. Amir, uh, Fred, rather, are, what are you expecting to happen? Well, it, it looks like there's a lull in the fighting, but many Israelis are worried because uh, Hezbollah is in violation of a U.N. Security Council resolution that doesn't allow it to put military forces in an 18-mile buffer zone between the Latani River and the Israeli border. Well, Hezbollah is still there. That's where its rocket launchers are, and many Israelis will not feel safe 
until Hezbollah honors that agreement. And there are there are many conservative Israelis who want Israel to invade and to take out these forces. I'm worried Hezbollah, Hezbollah may be rearming. There could be a possibility of an attack from Iran. So I think the threat level is still very high. Yeah, we're all bracing for that. Hopefully not. Fred, thank you. Amir, thanks for being with us this morning.